math. Let's do it. Um, so for this problem, what they're asking us to do is again to evaluate for p of 2. So we talked about you know, naming of the functions. And when we evaluate it at x, it gives us that rule. So if I'm going to evaluate for a number, we're going to plug in that number in for our variable. So therefore, I have 1 third times 2 squared minus 2 thirds times 2 plus 2. Again, follow the order of operations. You do your powers or your exponents first. So therefore, I'm going to have 1 third times 4 minus 2 thirds times 2 plus 2. Now we multiply. When multiplying fractions, when you have a fraction times a whole number, convert your whole number to fractions by putting them over 1. So now when we multiply, we're just going to multiply across. So therefore, this is going to equal 4 thirds minus 4 thirds plus 2. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you guys can see that's just going to subtract to 0. So we're left with the value of my function p when evaluated at 2 is equal to 2. Then let's do p of negative 1. Okay, So negative, I'm going to do this one a couple of shorter steps. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, which gives you 1 third, minus two, negative 2 thirds times negative 2 thirds is going to give you a positive 2 thirds plus 2. Right? 1 third plus 2 thirds equals 3 thirds. 3 thirds is really 1. So the value of p at negative 1 is equal to 3. Okay? Those were not very difficult.